Hey everybody, it's Miss WC. I'm all alone in the art room, but today we're going to talk about value. Value has lots of meanings. It can mean the importance or worth or usefulness of somebody or something. It can be a person's principles or how they behave, or it can mean the monetary worth of something, like how much does it cost, its value. In art, value, we define it by how light or how dark a color or hue can be. Values are best understood on a scale or gradient from dark to light. Have you ever seen paint swatches at the hardware store? Those strips are little value scales. Has anybody ever seen these? Usually, these are value scales. They go from dark to light in the same color family or same um, hues. So each one of these is its own little value scale. So the further apart two colors are, like the first and the last ones, those have a lot of contrast. If you were to put them right beside each other, how dark to light they are. If you compare the two right in the middle, they're so close together they don't have a lot of con contrast because they're so similar. Some people say that value is one of the most important parts to a good painting because it can help create the illusion of depth or 3D by shadows. So a lot of people think that it's the most important part to make the painting look really accurate or realistic. So for this project, we are going to explore mixing paint to create a value scale of skin colors. We are also going to talk about how we all have importance, we all have worth, we all can be useful, and we all have value, no matter the color of our skin. So let's get started on our project. Our final project is gonna look like this with a value scale going dark to light. All right, so for this project, what we're going to need is some paint, if you have it, preferably peach and brown, um, but if you have some kind of variations of that, perfect. If you don't have paint, then you can um, use anything that you have, crayons, um, markers. I'm excited because I did just buy this new box of Crayolas that come in all different skin tones. And Crayola has all different color skin tones. But if you don't have that, no big deal, guys. I was just excited to show you. Um, you can do this lesson with any color. Remember, a value scale is just light to dark. So if you only have green paint, you can have green skin. That's okay. Okay, the idea for this lesson is to learn about value from light to dark, dark to light. So you can do whatever colors you have, okay? Um, so we're gonna do ours with paint at school, but if you are working at home, you can use whatever you have, all right? If you don't even have paint or anything to color with, okay, you could even cut up a magazine, finding different skin tones and line them up and glue them down from light to dark and that would also show that you understand value from light to dark okay so what else do we need we need glue um, we need pencil we're gonna use some scissors we're gonna need some paper um, probably pretty big or just a couple like maybe four sheets of copy paper um, we're going to mount it on black, but again, if you're working at home and you don't have black paper, don't worry about it, okay? Um, at school, we're going to use some glitter, but if you don't want to do glitter at home, no worries, okay? Glitter's optional. We're going to use this kind of paintbrush at school, but whatever you have to paint or color with is totally fine. You can paint with your finger, 
Okay. Um, all right. So I think that's all the things that we need. All right. So what we're going to do first, let me bring you down. I am going to bring you down to our paper so we can get started down here. Let me just get you adjusted. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to trace our hand on the paper. I already got started just for the sake of time and I've traced my hand, but I do want to show you one trick. If you have larger hands and are having a hard time getting it to fit on your paper, I went with my hand this way and then I flipped it over and I did my hand this way. And then I flipped it over and I did my hand this way. And so my hand is going either every other way to make sure there's room. So I am going to get my arm on, I'm going to trace my hand and my arm a little bit down my arm. Again, if you just have copy paper at home, maybe you just use four sheets and do it four different times. If you don't have this large paper, don't worry about it. Okay, so I've traced my hand four times. One, two, three, four. All right, now what we're going to do next, we are going to, Okay, so we are going to use a cup and I forgot to mention this in our materials list so if you have a little tiny cup at school we're going to use little paper cups like this that we can throw away but at home you can use any little thing to mix paint in a little dish or a little paper cup whatever all right so what we're going to do first I'm going to add just a little bit of peach we don't need a lot okay let's see can you see how much I put in there not too much all right so we are going to start with that and I am going to paint my first one. Okay, remember our value scale goes from dark to light. I'm going to do this really fast just for the sake of time. Okay, but I want you to take your time painting. I want you to Follow your lines. I want you to make your paint nice and smooth. Okay, but for the sake of time, I'm gonna do mine pretty quick. Okay, please don't rush on yours. All right, so remember a value scale, dark to light, light to dark. So we're gonna start with our lightest color that we have. All right, now we are going to add a little bit of brown. Boop just a little bit at a time. All right, now let's stir it up. And now we have a shade, just one shade darker than our peach. So now we're going to paint this one. Okay. And again, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna paint this whole thing, but just so you get the idea. All right, now we're gonna add in a little more brown. We're gonna stir it up. Okay, we are gonna keep getting a darker and darker shade as we go. Okay, I'm gonna paint this one. Okay, see how it's getting darker and darker as we go, okay? Pretend I painted the whole thing. All right. And a little more brown for our final hand. Okay. And then I'm going to paint this one, our darkest shade of brown. And almost all of our original peach has been used up. And so now we're down to just our darkest shade. So we have created a value scale from light to dark in the same color family. Okay, it is so important that you go in order on this project. You can't just start with this one, jump to this one, and go to this one. You have to start with your lightest, and you have to add just a little bit more brown, just a little bit more brown, just a little bit more brown till you get to mostly all brown. All right, now if you were doing this at home with crayons, okay, 
you could just dig through your crayons and find some that work. So I could start with a lighter shade of peach, then I could go to a tan, then maybe, I don't know, this might be my next darkest brown, and then maybe this really dark, dark brown. So I could put them in order this way. All right, you wouldn't be mixing the colors, but you would still get the idea from going light to dark. Same with markers. You wouldn't be mixing the markers, but you get the idea of doing light to dark, dark to light. If you were going to do a totally different color, say like green, okay, start with your lightest and just keep adding a little tiny, tiny bit of a darker green or the littlest, smallest amount, uh, amount of black each time okay black goes a long way so if you're adding black just do the littlest smallest amount okay you also could if you had different color right, be really careful with be really careful with black if you are adding um, black to your colors okay you could just if you were going to do blues you could look through your marker bin you could start out with like a really baby blue and then a, a, maybe a a lighter shade of blue, a regular blue, and then a navy blue. So again, you're not mixing the markers, but you're lining them up from light to dark to kind of get the idea of what is an art value scale. All right, so I'm gonna push this one to the side because this one it would have to dry. So I already have one that I've got ready set for us. Okay, and I've even started to cut it out so I've got some parts already cut out, but I did leave one piece still together because I wanted to show you a little trick when we're cutting, okay? When you want to get down into the fingers, okay? Let me pull you up just a little bit. I'm gonna start and I'm gonna come in from the top of the fingers down to the point, and then I'm gonna do that from here. I'm gonna start from the top of the finger and go down into the finger to get to, sometimes it's really hard to kind of get down in there sometimes it's really hard to get down in there and get your scissors turned in a small space like that so sometimes you can just kind of start from the top and then go down into that point Start at the top and go down into that point a little bit easier. All right. I want you guys to save your paper scraps at your table. Okay. Normally, when we're in the art room, we have our little trash baskets on the tables. So you don't have to get up. But we're not in the art room. We're in your classroom. Or you're at home sitting at your dining room table. Okay. So my friends who are at school with me, I want you to keep all of your trash and I want you to ball it up into one ball and I want you to put it at the corner of your table, okay? And then at the end of class, we'll come around and gather up everybody's, okay? So everybody hold on to your trash, ball it up, put it at the corner of your table, all right? All right, so now I've got all of my hands ready to go. I have a value scale of skin tones. Light, next lightest, next lightest, all the way to dark, okay? So now I'm gonna grab my background paper. My background paper. Oh, one more thing I wanted to cut off was this little part right here. See how my paint is not perfect right there? So I'm just going to snip that off so I have nice, even ends. And I'm going to put my trash into my trash pile. All right. So before you start gluing, I want you to take time to think about your artwork. Think about how you want to put it together. All right. You could do exactly like a value scale and go from light, next lightest, next, next, and it could look like this, okay? You could do them going around, almost like they're holding each other's arms, kind of like we're working as a team, 
all right? You could do them every other one upside down like we did when we were, um, when we first drew them on our white paper. We could alternate them. We could, um, let's see, what else can we do? We could go in diagonals. We could go kind of diagonally across our paper. We could turn them sideways. We could um, put them in a big square like this. Okay, there's lots of different options that you can do. You could put them like this. Kind of more of like a diamond shape. Okay, it's kind of hard to see because they're not glued down yet. All right. Whatever you decide to do, it's totally up to you. Um, if you are going to overlap them some by like the, the arm being under the hand, you might want to just kind of put a little bit of glue on part of it and don't glue the fingers down yet because you want to get this under and then glue that part down. Then pull the fingers up and glue it down. Okay, but if you don't want yours to overlap and say you want it to all be just kind of straight, you're welcome to do that too. One thing I do want to challenge you to do is try to get them from light to dark somehow. Um, mine went from light to dark in a circle, so lightest, next, next, next. So they kind of went around in a circle, or you could do them from side to side. Okay, so. Let's try to kind of put them in order however you do want to glue it down. All right, remember, just a little bit of glue will do. You don't need a puddle, a lake, all right, because you just need a little tiny bit on the back of these fingers to glue it down. All right, last thing, if you would like to add a little bit of sparkle, all right, so what I did was I went in, I added a little heart shape, okay? Because this is all about value and how we all have value and I value you no matter what color your skin is and this project um, just is all about love and kindness towards each other too. So I went in with a little bit of a heart and added um, my glitter there, okay? If you're at home, you don't have to do this part. If you are at school, what we're going to do is add your glue then you're going to raise your hand and I will come over and shake the glitter for you. Um, because we can't share anything, I'm gonna have to shake the glitter and I can't give you the glitter to shake. All right, so you use your own glue out of your kit, do your glue, raise your hand, and I'll come shake for you. But everything else has to be glued down first. All right, okay guys. We all have value, no matter what color our skin is. Bye.